Hi guys, so we are back at our home climbing wall. We have a new setup, we've been climbing on it for a month and if we thought that it would be fun to showcase some of our boulders that we set. So when we set our climbing wall, our philosophy is to set it for a month to give us enough things to climb on. We usually set a few boulders with uh, particular sets. We usually use different set for holds and different set for footholds. Well, because we don't have that many holds. And uh, the rest of the wall we fill with all that's left. Yeah, so as you can see, we you also have quite a few volumes, which builds new possibilities for movements. And you also don't need such good holds to like be able to hold on our, I think like it's 32 degree climbing wall, something like this. Can you show us one of the boulders that are set by the set? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, how about... Huh. Uh, how about the blue one? Yeah. It's a nice one. So this may be a little bit confusing because, as Kuba said before, we added additional holes that were left after the setting. So this blue works only with the blue holes that are on the volumes. So it was actually much easier than it was when I was trying it for the first time. So it would mean that I actually made a progress in this month. Yay! <laughs> uh, one rule that we use when setting boulders is because there is like a lot of volumes on our wall. Uh, we don't are not allowed to use them unless one of the holes of the boulder is on the volume or a volume is uh, explicitly included in the boulder. Okay, I will try to show you another one. It was actually set by Magda and it features holds that actually I shaped and you can buy them from bad holds and some other super cool holds also from bad holds. It kind of was weird, it was find, hard to find beta for it, but once you found it, it's actually a very cool boulder. It involves a lot of heel hooking. The start from the volume is super cool because it looks kind of easy but you really have to find the position and this like one dynamic move when you have to like move your leg up is actually necessary you cannot do it statically in any other way So for the past month we've been using RetroFlash app quite intensively and we set like I think over 30 boulders in our app. 28. And 28. Uh, but it will be 30 soon. I actually think I will first reset the wall then it will hit 30. But we did not save all of them so I guess there was 30 boulders set. And uh, now Magda will showcase one of those. Uh, you want to choose or should I choose for you? So I'm still warming up, so I'm thinking about fours. Uh, so we have uh, maybe Space Burrito or Massacre. Let's go with Space How about burrito. this one? You prefer Space Burrito? Space Burrito. So we usually grade boulders difficulty in our own scale, uh, though it's still kind of uneven and it's really hard to grade the ones that are hard for us, like on the 
top of our climbing level because they kind of seem to blend together like uh, if you've done something multiple times and as this wall isn't that big we climb boulders multiple times they start to feel really easy with time so it's very hard to put a like definite grade on it i will try to do the yellow boulder now with these big nice holds and i really like it like in the beginning it's like a little bit of intro then there is like a small crimp that it's not bad but you have to precise when you move towards it because if you will like hit it badly it's hard to adjust the hand and you need it for the next big move that you have to commit to then there is like a little bit uh, a power demanding part with the ending where you also have to commit like the gaston move without any foothold is you just like have to decide in your head that you go for it because if you want you just won't reach the hold and or you won't will won't be high enough to hold it Okay, so I think we'll do one more each okay. and uh, Magda will show you a little bit more tricky boulder called Broken Erection and uh, <laughs> yeah there is a story behind that one uh, yeah it's a f we graded it as S5 and as far as I remember it was quite challenging but let's hope I can recreate it properly Oh, that was close, but I kind of got confused. <laughs> so what are your thoughts on this one? Uh, so it was actually enjoyable, but the top is very hard. I mean, it's kind of tricky. You have to be in a good position there. I thought that because we all, I already made it, it will be easy, but it was quite challenging. But it's a good boulder, good road setting. <laughs> Okay, so this boulder called, called Magda Burgische Wurst There is also a story behind that uh, It's kind of a cool one because it Magda set it in the app and then we spent a lot of time looking for a proper beta for it so we didn't know if it's climbable Magda had some kind of idea how to do it but we spent uh, a big part of our session just figuring out if the moves are possible in different ways and we finally found a proper way for every move and like the process was very interesting and still the cracks of the boulder like going from to the yellow hold and from the yellow hold up is super cool part because it's like extra weird So last one that I will try to show you today 
uh, will be a little bit more dynamic that will require a lot of commitment it probably will look a little bit static on the video but actually it's like one movement that you just have to go keep a lot of body tension and yeah it's like the movement for it is really cool i'm just not sure how it will look on the video but uh, yeah you will see <laughs> I kind of remember that it's called not that hard for a reason and the reason is it's very ironic A small dub that doesn't really matter so <laughs> I'm counting it as done. So that is, that's it. Uh, let us know if you liked it, if you want to see a little bit more of boulders from our climbing wall. And see you next time!